Welcome to a special presentation of Record Online Sports. I'm Matt Pappen. One of the truly great American hometown sports events was held in Middletown on Sunday, aptly named the Classic. The Classic 10K has great community support, and there's something for everyone. I think tradition, just the history, the fact that it's been around so long, and the fact that Frank Shorter and the, you know they get the elites coming to, come to do it, so I think it's the tradition and the history. For the diehard running crowd, there's Orange County's greatest sports hero, Frank Shorter, who returns most years to run the streets where he trained for Olympic glory, this time running them with the current residents of his hometown. For elite athletes, winning the Classic 10K looks pretty good on a young runner's resume. And for Joe Everyday Runner, it's all about being part of a big event, from proving yourself as a runner to the socializing at the after party. This year's Classic 10K took place on a hot and steamy morning, and the heat was the number one topic of discussion before the race. Well, I think it's going to play a part, but I mean, most of the runners who run this race probably used to it. Frequently it's, um, frequently it's hot, so. The heat didn't stop more than 700 from lining up to run 6.2 miles, though. The elite field runners were away from the pack early, including five Ethiopians. Kenyard Richard Kiplagat, considered the favorite, is right there with them. After the first mile, but before mile marker two, the lead group is down to six, then five. The five are averaging four minutes, 47 seconds a mile. Worku Bai and Kiplagat pull ahead, with Demis Tefera behind them. But by the three mile mark, it's only Bai and Kiplagat. Bailly makes his winning move going up Randall Heights. He increases his lead over Kiplagat and heads for the finish, first flying from Randall onto Roosevelt. Watch his coach urge him to slow down. By the time he had turned onto Wisner, it was over. Kiplagat gave everything he had, but at the finish he was spent. He collapsed across the finish line and was later taken to a hospital for treatment and then released. Six minutes after Bayi won, Meseret Kotu, also of Ethiopia, won the women's race. Kathleen Jobes was second. Many runners struggled with the heat, but safety precautions were in place and the medical staff kept busy. It's been a very hot and humid day, as you know. We've uh, transported about four to five patients to our area hospitals, Arden Hill and the Horton campus of Orange Regional. We treated approximately 20 to 30 uh, walking patients that were either coming in after the race or were brought over by the uh, EMS personnel on scene. Afterward, it was time to chow down. Nick Amendola's crew from the Bada Bing served up plenty of great chow. Uh, 800, uh, 800 pounds of uh, pasta. Uh, but uh, 400 pound of meatballs, uh, let's see, solids, that's got to be 40, 80, but uh, 200 pound of solids. And Shorter livened up the dog and pony show with a couple good ones. When you ran just at the halfway point, you were in a park. The park is called Davidge Park. And that's the park when I was in high school, I used to run on days like this in the summer, and you can know why now, because all those trees cover you and you can stay out of the sun. And I'll never forget running up after that park. You get on, make a little left-hand turn on a street. And years ago, they named that street after me. It's called Frank Shorter Way. Okay, no, that's not the point. You know, I'm a karma person. I love it. I look down at my watch when I'm on the street there today. It says 2919. The last time I won this race, I was at the finish line at that point. And... <laughs> And, and I thought, and one of the things that it reminded me of when I was here and I was watching Eddie Diana, because it's not Ed Diana, it's Eddie Diana. When Eddie Diana is up here, I, I was thinking to myself, who would have ever thought, given Eddie's background in one way and my background in another way, that 40 years later we'd all be standing on the same stage and still standing. <laughs> so I'm so proud to be from Middletown and Orange County. And, and again, for those of you outside this area, this is a unique place. There, there are very few places in the United States where you tell someone you're from a county. 
and you're not from a city. It, it's very interesting. For Record Online Sports, this is Matt Pepin.